Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Today we're looking at verses 118 and 119 in Psalm 119. And we have some declarative statements about the Lord here. So a little bit of theology coming our way today as we read these two verses. If you have your Bible, I uh, hope you'll follow along with me. If you don't, then I uh, hope that you'll allow me to read for you if you can't get to your Bible. Thou hast trodden down all them that err from thy statutes, for their, deceitful, for their deceit is falsehood. Thou puttest away all the wicked of the earth like dross, Therefore, I love thy testimonies. Now, you'll notice here that we have these statements about the Lord. You have trodden down, you put away. So these are statements of, about the Lord's judgment of the wicked. And you'll notice that we have a, a beautiful definition of the wicked there in verse 118. We can add this to our list. Uh, remember the dictionary definition for the psalmist what wickedness is and who the wicked man is. We go back to Psalm 10, and he tells us very clearly about the wicked man, but we've been adding to that definition all throughout our study of the Psalms. And now we come here and we have this lovely little comparison here with these two verses. Verse 118, all them that err from thy statutes. Verse 119, all the wicked of the earth. So we know that the wicked here are those that err from the statutes. So when the psalmist says, I'm going to keep your statutes, I'm going to remember them, I'm going to love them, I'm going to do them, uh, I'm going to have respect unto them, I'm going to do according to them, I'm going to keep them. You know, when he says those things, we know that he has separated himself from wickedness in that he is willing to do what God has told him to do. But those that err from thy statutes, that is, willingly walk away. Those people are trodden down. Now we have the judgment of God here against the wicked. They're trodden down. Mason Neal says that this, is, this statement, to be trodden down, means that God takes them lightly and actually just casts them out into the, into the roadway so that they can be trodden underfoot under his feet. And then notice verse 119. You put away all the wicked of the earth like dross. Well, what's dross? Where does dross come from? Dross is something that happens in the smelter. So the fire of the smelter melts the metal, the silver or the gold or whatever the precious metal is that you're refining, uh, gathers in the bottom and the dross floats to the top. It's lighter, it's less than, and it is not desirable that it be in the metal. It makes the metal weaker. And so the dross is drawn off and cast away. So you put away all the wicked of the earth like dross. You just skim it off the top of the precious metal and throw it out. It just goes in the garbage because there's nothing that you can do with it. It's all the impurities that were in the metal. So there are two, two illustrations here. You know, he says that he's going to refine the saints like silver. Tried seven times. You know, he's going to do that for us to make us fit for the kingdom, but at the same time, the dross that comes off of that, the church is tried and the dross that comes out are those wicked who were, you know, hiding in the church, the tear among the wheat. And so those are gathered separately, bound and cast into the fire. So here, the wicked of the earth are like dross. They were in there with the silver, but when the silver was refined, the dross is drawn off and put away. He says, therefore, I love thy testimonies. Notice here, we have another confident statement of faith. I love thy testimonies. We've had I hate. We've had I love there in verse 113. I hope I will keep. I will have respect there in 117. And then here in verse 119, I love. All these action words that the psalmist gives us. Okay, join me again tomorrow. We're going to look at verse 120 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. 
Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.